no, probably not. Thanks for watching. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean, no? It's just not, bro. I mean, just look at this footage. All right, okay, yeah, yeah, it's not. Hey, girls, guys, and all people like it is Mox here, and hello, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're looking at what should be what the Elder Scrolls 6 will look like, um, but sadly, we all know that's not true. Why isn't that true, though? Why can't the Elder Scrolls 6 look like this? Well, if you want to hate on Bethesda, it's because Bethesda. I mean, look at their most recent releases and tell me how many of them are Skyrim level quality. If you want to get technical, maybe not as many people can even run a game that looks this good, and the less people that can run it, the less people who will actually buy it. If you want to hate on Bethesda and get technical, it's because creating ultra photorealistic graphics for an entire Skyrim sized game is a massive undertaking, something that I just can't see Bethesda doing. Yeah, you could say they've had over a decade to make this game, which should be more than enough time, but look at something like Cyberpunk, for example. Years and years for the fans to get impatient, and we end up with a crap game that needed massive fixes to even be playable for some people. Also, Bethesda doesn't just focus on one game at a time. They're constantly working on things both new and old, uh, so it's harder to divide their resources to making Elder Scrolls 6. All these things are fairly straightforward reasons. Probably the most talked about for this topic. Probably. Yeah, probably. I didn't do the research for that. All right. Yeah, so we know that stuff. Or you didn't, in which case, now you know. Making games hard. I did see some stuff on ChatGPT about the style of Elder Scrolls, though. Wait, wait, wait. ChatGPT? We use AI for these videos? Nah, I mean, not really. I was just curious and gave it a shot. Huh. All right. ChatGPT. Controversial. Anyway... It's at something I've never seen in articles or videos talking about the Elder Scrolls 6. The Elder Scrolls series always had a unique art style that has set it apart from other RPG games. While improving the graphics and technology is always a goal for game developers, the series art style has been consistent throughout the previous games, and any drastic change in the art style could potentially alienate longtime fans of the franchise. Honestly, that is something that I never even considered, uh, because the first thing I do whenever I play an Elder Scrolls game is download a bunch of mods to make it look much better. Something I see consistently though, especially when talking about Sky Skyrim alternatives is that they don't have that Skyrim feel or that Bethesda feel. While I completely agree that they have this feel to them, I couldn't ever explain what causes that feeling. Probably nostalgia. When I really thought about it though, it reminded me of another great game made even better with mods, Minecraft. In the modding community of both Skyrim Those and Minecraft, there's off. talk about that vanilla game feel. I personally am partial to mods that are vanilla friendly for both, as I don't want to ruin the feel of the game because I could just play another game if I wanted that. Something that could greatly affect the vanilla feel is the visuals. We've all seen those Ultra HD Minecraft videos and in the comments is thousands of people saying, this isn't Minecraft. I miss the good old days of, of classic Minecraft and why is the grass so shiny? Hit like to get free access to my own. I think that last one was a bot. Don't don't worry about that one, sorry. Anyway, the same thing applies for the Elder Scrolls 6 or any game really. If you change the look too much, it just won't feel the same. So as much as we look at stuff like this and we say the Elder Scrolls 6 like needs to look like that, in reality, it might not even feel like an Elder Scrolls game if it does look like that. And I personally think that's way worse than having a game with just slightly less insane graphics. And I can already tell someone's typing, but we have confirmation that they're using 3D scanning to have photorealistic graphics. And yes, that is 100% correct, I think. But we also have confirmation that they're using the same game engine, the creation engine, the same one they used for Skyrim. Yes, I know it's not exactly the same, but the idea of using it in 2023 just seems wrong to me. They use the same engine for Fallout 4, which I think looks pretty great most of the time, but yeah. By this point though, you'll most likely have seen a lot of this Unreal Engine project on screen, but I just want to point out some things that really stood out to me. First off, I love the freedom that a game like this feels like it has, and even a game like Skyrim felt like it had. Some games feel so limited in the ways that you can move and the things that you can do, but the scene feels very, like, free, even though we're obviously not the ones controlling it. It just feels like we've been put into a world as we are. It feels very immersive. So many games seem to lack that freedom, making me feel, like, claustrophobic, for lack of a better term. I just feel, like, restricted. Obviously, some games need those restrictions to even be what they are, but if we can take what we had in Skyrim and improve upon it, Elder Scrolls 6 will be just perfect. And it's not all about the player movement, though. It also has to do with things like the environmental details, the way you interact with objects, and the effects that your actions have upon the world around you. The less detail in the world space, and the less I can interact with things, the more I feel like I'm limited in what I'm capable of doing. And your actions. I love when your actions can actually do things that affect the world. It feels very like this is a video game, when you can just shoot fireballs at stuff and nothing happens. There's no repercussions to that. Nothing like actually breaks, or you don't have any damages to property, <laughs> and you don't get 
get in trouble, stuff like that. Skyrim was pretty good about that stuff, but it can definitely be improved. And if we actually take a look at the in-game footage, it looks amazing. I think the like water could, could definitely use like some work. It looks a little thick, kind of like the Skyrim water. So maybe it works just fine actually. <laughs> and then someone can come along and mod it and make the water not so thick. But they did a really good job with like moving things. Like when things are actually moving within a scene, it feels very alive. Obviously there's no NPCs here, but it still feels like you've been put into maybe an abandoned town of some kind or one that was recently vacated. Just because like you see, like you saw their smoke coming out of the chimney, the wind waving between the like trees and the and the leaves falling and those like top hangy, hangy things, those hangy boys, I don't know what they're called. The waterfall coming down, the clothes waving in the wind, like the fire burning there. All that stuff really adds to the detail and all this like just post-processing stuff. Like I think you just saw a quick little thing fly by as if maybe a a bug or a leaf or something was like zooming past the screen. That type of stuff makes the world feel alive and it makes it feel like you're not playing a video game. And that's always been one of my favorite things about a game like Skyrim. I could get immersed into it and immersion was like my top thing in Skyrim. My top Skyrim mods are all immersion mods because like I said, I like to keep the feel of the game. And the overgrown buildings, I love me some overgrown buildings. That really adds to like this world is alive. It's not just plonk a building in a world space and like it, it feels very like Immersive. God, truly it just looks so beautiful and I cannot wait to see what The Elder Scrolls 6 looks like because I'm sure it is gonna be very Skyrim-esque. Like Skyrim was amazing, but it definitely had its flaws. And I think that's exactly how The Elder Scrolls 6 is gonna be. Pretty great, very flawed, <laughs> just like Skyrim was until modding came along and updates and all that stuff. They also do a very good job with the sound design, which is another massive thing. I talk about this kind of a lot in my videos, but sound design is pretty important um, just for making you feel a certain type of way, however the game wants you to feel. If you you want it to be scary it's very important to get the sound design right or else like very simple sounds can just totally throw something off throw off a scene it makes you feel like you're not really there which totally takes you out of the experience like i said in a spooky game it's no longer spooky it's just i'm here i'm playing a spooky video game they played a weird sound in a game like this you hear something like that you're not expecting to hear totally takes you out of it i am no longer an explorer in a fantasy world i'm just sitting at my computer <laughs> like you can hear the running water you can hear the crackling of the fire and it's all in like different spaces and everything. That spatial volume, not sure what it's called. Very, very cool, very important to me and to a lot of people. Damn, and just seeing like the rock face and everything, it's so, so good, super well made. Unreal Engine 5 has done some crazy things. It is insane the stuff you can do with Unreal Engine. There were certain scenes in this. I was watching it with my girlfriend and we were both like, damn, some of this, if you just pause it, could be just real life. I believe it's a village. Obviously, the closer you get to something like this, it gets a little bit fake looking. But then we have the amazing reveal, this giant world space. This is exactly something I want to see. I want to be able to see the world like from a huge distance like this and just be able to overlook things. Something like that in The Elder Scrolls 6, it would just blow my mind. I would love that so much. Looks like there's even a bit of like a tower or like a kingdom or something down there, which I, again, like if you could imagine seeing, I don't know where Elder Scrolls 6 takes place, I totally forget. But imagine seeing Whiterun or something from a massive distance, and I think you can in some spaces, but it does not look this good. Just the lighting, absolutely perfect. That water, ooh, crisp, crisp water. The way that the snow is like interacting with the with the mountain ranges and stuff, it looks very real and very realistic. And I think they could definitely do that with the Elder Scrolls 6 and keep the art style so it doesn't feel too off. But I'm sure you've seen enough of this footage, uh, but if you want to watch the full thing for yourself, first link down in the description below. It's called Unreal Engine 5 Environment Art Cliffwood Village by Taichi Kobayashi, and they did an amazing job. Very big props to them, and I just wanted to come and talk about some more Elder Scrolls stuff, because it's something that I'm super interested in. I've actually kind of been wanting to replay Skyrim again recently, which is like kind of embarrassing because I've played Skyrim so much, I feel like I should be done with it by now. Um, but anyone that's actually played Skyrim will tell you, you are never done with Skyrim. You're always gonna replay it, and that's true. But maybe Elder Scrolls 6 will change that. What do you guys think? Do you want it to look this photorealistic? Do you want it to look a little closer to what Skyrim was? Maybe just modded Skyrim, where it's like, yes, like way better looking. Modded Skyrim looks fantastic. It can like almost compete with stuff like this. Um, but would you prefer something closer to that or something closer to this? I'm leaning more towards the Unreal Engine 5 scene, but that's just me. If you guys have any thoughts or if you like this, let me know down in the comments below. Yeah, that's gonna be just about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I mostly do FNAF video stuff, but I'm trying to branch out a little bit into things like this because they're it's very interesting to me and it's stuff that I am passionate about and that's the stuff that I like to cover. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more, uh, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.